quick little walk around of a brand new model in the Forerunner this year. For 2022, you are looking at the TRD Sport. So this model is kind of an interesting mashup between a few different trims on the Forerunner. Um, so mechanically, it's exactly the same as uh, an SR5 Premium. So you've got Toyota's part-time four-wheel drive system with the electronic control uh, in the center uh, console area. But on the outside, it's kind of interesting. So it shares a lot of body design characteristic to a Limited. So you've got the front grille that looks pretty close to a Limited with the more squared off design and that big bar going right through the, uh, the middle there. Um, you've even got a very similar um, tire and wheel setup. So these are similar uh, Bridgestone Dueler HTs. Um, I don't remember what that stands for, um, but it is the same 20 inch machined alloy wheel that you'll find on the Limited. Main difference is in the middle here, you will get the uh, like matte gray instead of the polished black that you'll find on the Limited. Um, as well as you won't get all of the, the chrome to go along with it. So on the mirror caps, it's gonna be the same green. The only thing that's sort of close to chrome would be the TRD Sport uh, badging on the C-pillar. And even then, it's kind of like a, a brushed matte sort of uh, finish to it. But otherwise, everything that you would expect to be on a 4Runner is still here. So you've still got the tow hitch on the back. You still get the power roll down window that every 4Runner's had. It still says 4Runner. This is actually more of like that chrome finish that you would get on pretty much any other one. It would have been nice to see it with the blackout package, but this particular one wasn't configured with it. But for the most part, on the outside, it looks just like any other 4Runner. If you've ever seen one, this one's done up in the army green color, which is a huge plus because uh, if you're familiar with the 4Runner lineup, they haven't offered the army green color on really anything outside of the TRD Pro from a couple of years ago. So it's nice to see that they're starting to kind of, you know, spice up the, the color palette for the lineup. So you'll also get the black roof rails along the top, which are pretty nice to see. You've got Bilstein shocks, which are similar to what you'll find on the TRD off-road model. On the inside, well, it looks pretty much like an SR5 Premium. You do have the, the gray TRD embossment on the headrests. You get this really, really nice leather wrapped steering wheel down the side. You can see all of your light controls, automatic high beam functionality going on over there. Let's get inside and we'll close the door here and it is a smart key if I could get it out of the cup holder. A little bit newer of a design, uh, more reminiscent of the new RAV4s and you still got your push button start up on the dash. So you can see the new 4Runner startup animation with your still analog gauges. I know some people are going to love that, some people are going to hate it on the steering wheel. You've got your volume up and down, up and down between all of the different radio presets, buttons for phone calls, your lane departure alert. It does not have steering assist just because it doesn't have an electronic power steering. It is still hydraulic, which is why that doesn't work. But it does have the dynamic radar cruise control that everybody is pretty used to with any new Toyota, or really any new car has some variation to that now. All the up-down arrows to interact with the MID over here, so pretty cool. And then we get over to the main display here. So one thing you'll notice is this one, because it's based on an SR5 for the most part, you don't get dual zone climate. It is single zone uh, heat and air conditioning. 
which, you know, to each their own as far as whether you think that's a uh, positive or a minus. But this one does have the built-in navigation system. No JBL audio, but it does have the, uh, the upgraded radio, the bigger touchscreen with support for Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. It'll get over-the-air software updates. It's not the most, you know, modern design for a user interface, but, you know, it gets the job done. So no real complaints there. It does everything that you want it to do. Navigation, you can make phone calls, text messages, listen to your music, stuff like that. Some models also do have the Remote Connect app, so you'd be able to start it from your phone. Not exactly sure whether this one does or not, but um, that's still a really cool thing that some of them do have. You got your auto dimming mirror up there. And then something that's cool that you don't get in the SR5, um, as far as I'm aware, is the A track or their automatic traction control system. So if you do decide to take it off roading, it'll modulate the ABS brakes and stuff like that. Do get your downhill ascent, or sorry, downhill descent control. So if you're going down to a pretty slippery slope, it'll also modulate ABS and adjust traction and stuff like that. Toyota's safety connect system. So, you know, kind of like OnStar in the way that it works. Otherwise, you've got your usual headlights, or not headlights, <laughs> overhead lights, um, nice good sized mirrors that do swing out and have a little pull out thing. So you don't have to worry about not being able to see out in front of you. This model does not appear to have any sort of heated seats, but it does have the uh, Softex leather on the inside. So I'm not really sure what that's about, but I'm sure you'll be able to option it out with that. You do have a the regular USB for Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, and then you have the uh, the dual, you know, high output power charging thing. Uh, I forget what Toyota calls it. Down here is where you get your four-wheel drive selector. So you've got your two-wheel drive high, four-wheel drive high, and as well as your four-wheel drive low. So if there's anything you guys would like to see on this 4Runner, please let me know down in the comments. It does have the hood scoop kind of like the, uh, the off-road, so it makes it look a little bit sportier. But otherwise, uh, that was kind of a quick first look at the 4Runner TRD Sport for the 2022 model year. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good day.